I have learned that you're never too small to make a difference. Respected authorities and representatives of the different national and international institutions, dear participants, dear viewers of the web stream. This is my favorite quote by Greta Thunberg. Greta reminds us of the potential and the power in every single young learner. Many of us contributing to this conference know each other because we have been working together for access to and high quality of STEM education. We have been focusing on inquiry-based learning and the relevance of STEM for everyday experience of learners. Fridays for Future is encouraging for us because the learners confirm explicitly that they engage for what is relevant to their lives. Many of us share the conviction that STEM educators have a particular responsibility within education for sustainable development. Without STEM education, the next generation can neither understand the reasons of climate change nor acquire abilities to mitigate it. STEM education is their and our only chance to continue creating economic growth without damaging the future. Sadly enough, climate change is an excellent argument for the relevance of STEM education. Moreover, it might bring back to school those who skip Fridays to March against climate change. Many of us have worked hard around introducing 21st century skills such as critical reflection, creativity and problem solving skill skills into STEM lessons. I strongly believe that climate change education deserves a fixed place in the curricula in exactly this context of 21st century skills. It is through this that young learners discover their potential to innovate technology capable of reversing trends and healing damage done. Now, what about the teachers? I can imagine many questions from their perspective. Is what I am teaching really at the current height of scientific findings? How do I structure and guide a discussion in the class after presenting the facts? How do I instill confidence in my students against the dark scenarios? This is where the Office for Climate Education, or in short, the OCE comes in. The vision of the OCE is to promote a strong international cooperation between scientific organizations, education institutions and NGOs. Siemens Stiftung is a partner of the first hour and member of the Strategic and Scientific Committee. The initiative offers education materials based on the results of the IPCC reports, the reports of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and organizes conferences for teachers, academics and politicians to discuss educational concepts fitting for their region. I believe that especially here in Latin America, initiatives such as the OCE can be successful and even become role models for the rest of the world. Because here, they can benefit from a well-established network of cross-regional and cross-sectoral collaboration in the so-called STEAM territories. STEAM territories provide a precious action-oriented framework with the potential to accelerate climate change education adapted to the needs of Latin America. You will see Ulrike Wahl, head of the Siemens Stiftung Office for Latin America, and her team. They're coordinating these efforts on our side. To me, Latin America is magic. Magic because of inspiring partners who make things happen. Partners like the Universidad de Chile. A big and heartfelt thank you for investing your precious expertise, powerful network, energy and funds to realize something very special. A cutting edge conference to provide meaningful teaching in the area of climate change education. Maybe one day we will all look back to this day as historic. As the beginning of a very special journey with like-minded people around the globe who read and hear of the results joining this network. Greta Thunberg and her followers have dedicated one day of the week to the future. Let us use this conference and our growing network to tell them we dedicate all days of the week to the future. Because we're also never too small to make a difference. 
My best wishes for a successful conference to all of you in Santiago de Chile.